Hello from Perfection Kennels. This is Mark Burns who's been helping us for years. Uh, one of the things that we want to talk about real quick is the fact that a lot of people aren't careful enough about how they place their birds out for their dogs. And one of the things you have to understand, we see this a lot with people working their own dogs that they bring into us or they come from other places that have been doing some training, is that you have to be really careful and understand that your dogs are smart enough to know how to follow your foot scent, the four-wheeler scent, a horse track scent that leads them to the bird. So in this case right here, we have the wind blowing this way, which means it's coming across that like that. So Mark, what I want you to do is walk straight down this, this way, cut into the cover, you're gonna be doing it wrong. Right. All right. And I want you to kick around and then come back out. Then we'll get a dog out and show you what happens with no bird there. Okay. Okay, now just come back out the same way. So people will walk, and like remember, you're on the downwind side of the cover, the way that Mark worked down there. If Mark's putting birds out, he's going to go that way around all the cover and toss them from the other side. So if the dog does follow his track, there's no way they're going to find smell the bird at the same time. So uh, what we're going to do is stop this for a second, get a dog out, and demonstrate what happens with no bird out. Okay, this is Whiskey. We are out of the area where we started just a little bit. We're going to turn her loose out here, let her run around. We'll see if she hits the track and what she does. Whiskey. All right. See that? That's right where he walked. And that's the thing that people do. They learn if you don't properly put your birds out of Mark. Or Mark. Whiskey has, had been with another trainer a long time before we got her. We're working her for field trials, but you saw as soon as she hit the center of the footpath, what she did. So we never put birds out for her like this. So right now what I'm going to do, not to show it all, but I'm going to release her and let her go down there and see there's not a bird there. So the best way to do this is walk on the up one side, put the bird out, walk back out the upside side. The other way, the way I prefer to put birds out, we prefer to put birds out, is stand here in a place like this or ride on a horse on top of a hill and let birds go. Just let them go, give them a half hour, wherever they end up, they end up. The dogs learn to find birds. The dogs learn to find birds, not footpath, not tracks of the birds. So if you've trained your dog to find footpaths in your training, and then you go wild bird hunting and you're wondering why they can't find birds, it's because there's no path to the bird no more. So we release Whiskey. She runs down, falls a footpath, and tries to point where Mark had kicked around. The wind is blowing out this way. So again, this is just an example of how you have to be careful. She had learned this, so we have to be really careful not to let her perpetuate and let her get confirmed that there's always a bird at the end of the, of the foot track. There's not one there now, and but she wants to believe there is. So anytime we run this dog, preparing her for field trials, she's a huge running dog, that's a beautiful job, but if she hits a track and thinks there's one there, she's gonna follow it. So if you want a good wild bird dog, don't teach them this if you can. 